Honoring a founding member of Africa's oldest liberation movement, ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa says Sol Plaike's life and legacy need to be celebrated. He's urged people to draw inspiration from Plaike, who fought for equality and the right for black people to own land. But we are also here to draw inspiration for what he stood for. Many of us will remember his writings, but the most outstanding one, which we are pursuing to this day, is how he articulated the feelings, the aspirations of black people in our country on the land issue. <coughs> our 54th National Conference took a very revolutionary resolution on the land question. And that in many parts, or in many ways, was inspired by Saul Plaike's writings on the land question. The process leading to the wreath laying didn't come without a fight. On Saturday, angry family members removed a cage placed around Plaike's grave. They say the Northern Cape Arts and Culture Department didn't consult them before erecting the structure. But one faction of the family says they'll try and rekindle their differences. And we want to publicly say that a Solplaiki family, in all the dramas that has been there, it has not been a representation of Solplaiki and Mukhuri family. But we want to take this opportunity and say we apologize to South Africa for what has happened. But we are in the process of correcting, and part of correcting it's through the reunion where we will have the organization to assist us. Northern Cape Premier Zamani Sol says they will engage with the family to help them mend their differences. Most important and urgent for the ANC is to try and to work together with the family to ensure that we bring about a semblance of unity within the family and that would assist the ANC in all its programs on celebrating and honoring the life of the first Secretary General of the African National Congress. ANC leaders have fanned out throughout the province, engaging communities and mobilizing supporters ahead of the party's birthday celebrations on Saturday. Reginald Vidboy, SBC News, Kimberley.